Hey friends, welcome back to another September coffee video. Today we're gonna to be talking about two coffees that we're really excited to feature this month in July for our subscribers, and they're also on the web store, both of them from South America. So today we're gonna to talk about vanilla waffle, it's what we've called this coffee from Daniel Munoz from Huila in Colombia, and it's a pink bourbon, and then also, apricot cookie. Now this is a yellow Keturah that is a wash process from Maximiliano Garcia. Again, he's in Peru. And this is a very interesting coffee. It reminds us of big baker's chocolates, a lot of approachability, a lot of sweetness that really just lingers. And it's one of those coffees that could be used on batch brew, on espresso. It's just a little versatile that way. And we think it's very approachable for both the specialty lover, but also those who are newer to specialty coffee because it's lower in acidity and big in sweetness. Also, apricot cookie, we roasted this as a medium light. So by no means is it a dark roast. We don't really do dark roasts here at September, but it is a little bit darker than our exclusive filter roast, which makes it fit within our storm series. Now, vanilla waffle is really interesting. It is a pink bourbon, as we mentioned, from Willow. Daniel Munoz is a very interesting farmer because he doesn't exclusively farm coffee. He also farms sugarcane, and this is his pink bourbon. Now this pink bourbon is really approachable, but it's also got this really nice lemon acidity that's really, really interesting. Now we called it vanilla waffle because it's got this really nice sweet herbal florality that reminds us of vanilla or even vanilla extract. And it almost reminds us of like a really nice waffle you'd have on a Saturday morning covered in maple syrup, really nice sweetness that reminds us of, of eating a vanilla waffle. That was the best way we could describe it. It's got that really nice lemon acidity, but it's not quite as bright as some pink bourbons we featured in the past. It's kind of got this nice middle ground for a lot of people to enjoy without scaring too many people away with too much bright acidity. So it's got a really nice balance that we think is really neat and really unique for the pink bourbon variety. So let's start off with this recipe. Today I've got 20 grams ground of vanilla waffle. This recipe will work on both coffees. As I mentioned, apricot cookies really great for both espresso and filter. And while you can obviously use vanilla waffle for both as well, uh, we've roasted vanilla waffle on the lighter side to focus more on filtered coffee. But if you're capable of brewing lighter roasts on espresso, then by all means, please do. But today we have 20 grams of vanilla waffle ground at a medium fine setting for a V60. And the aroma that vanilla waffle gives off is, is very familiar to pink bourbons. If you've ever smelled a pink bourbon before, they've got that really bright, very distinct aroma. Uh, they're very interesting for that reason. Quite honestly, it translates to the cup most often. Now, vanilla waffle has those elements, but it's a little more approachable. It's not quite as bright as something that we feature in the past called pink lemonade. That was also a pink bourbon. This is the same variety, same region, but this one has more florality to it. It's a little bit more approachable and a little more sweetness forward rather than being so bright. And, and even the way we roasted it, it is a little lighter than we did for pink lemonade, but we still find it's just got this really nice um, approachability to it. Our first pour, we're gonna pour 80 grams and wait 30 seconds. After 45 seconds, we're gonna then pour our second pour for another 80 grams. At this point, we're at 160 grams of water. I finished my pour around one minute. So we're gonna wait till one minute and 30, and then we're gonna pour another 80 grams. Now with vanilla waffle, we recommend a rest time of two to three weeks minimum. Allow some of the sweetness to open up in this coffee because it is roasted slightly lighter. And so we wanna ensure that we're allowing the coffee to open up. And there's our final pour. We're gonna pour up to 320 grams for a one to 16 ratio. And on our final pour, we'll just give it a little spiral, get that coffee off the sidewalls, as you guys know I love to do. And then we're gonna wait. And this should draw down between three minutes and three minutes and 30 seconds. That's kind of a sweet spot that we're aiming for for this recipe. If you did this properly and ground properly, you should be fine. You should be able to hit within that window. And if not, you might need to adjust your grind setting. Now, let me tell you about September, what's happening here as we're waiting for this coffee to draw down. As you can see behind me, we have our loring. These coffees were not roasted for our July sub on the loring. They will be roasted in the future on our loring. This will be up and running for the month of August. We've been working with some incredible consultants who are professionals on lorings and transferring our profiles from the Diedrich over to the Loring, ensuring we still get that nice candy-like sweetness that you get from a traditional drum, but 
offering some more clarity and some beautiful brightness that is great from the loring. So we're working to transfer those profiles, we're working really hard, working really long hours so that what you know and love from September doesn't change. In fact, it only gets better. If you want to ensure you get a coffee from the Loring, then I recommend signing up for August subscription. We're going to be featuring a beautiful natural Ethiopian called Shundisha. Now, Shundisha is one of my favorite natural Ethiopians. It's incredibly clean. It's very sweet. It's got this white sugar sweetness to it that's just oh, so beautiful. And we really are excited to bring this to September. It'll be featured in our August sub alongside another pink bourbon that we'll talk about more in the future. But that'll be our August subscription. If you want to be sure to sign up for that, you can using the link down below in this video. But I think it's time to drink this coffee. Yeah, it's... That's a pretty coffee. It's really clean. It's got this really nice lingering acidity. Lemon balm is how we described it. Sweet, yet, yet acidic. And then it's got a really nice vanilla florality that just really lingers. It's also got this really nice jammy fig element that really just brings the cup together. And apricot cookie is one of our favorite coffees as a morning brew right now, especially on a batch brew, uh, but just an incredibly diverse coffee. You can use it for so many different things. We called it apricot cookie because it does remind us of stone fruits. It's got this really nice peach apricot sweetness as it cools, but it's got this really nice baker's chocolate that rounds up the cup. And we thought these two would fit so well together, both from South America. And last month we featured two African coffees in Janja Hill and Genji Chala. And so we thought we changed up and, and focused this month on South America. Now next month, we're gonna have two different continents and a natural Ethiopian in Chundisha, and then also a pink bourbon from, again, Wila. And so we're excited to feature those two. It's gonna be a fantastic month. We're really excited about the subscription services. We put a lot of effort into our subscription service. We primarily focus our green buying around our subscription service. So we don't just buy coffees and then throw them into a subscription. If you want the best from September, if you really want our curated experiences shipped to your your door every single month. That really is the service that we recommend. It's currently available in the US and Canada. Anyways, thank you for watching. We are excited to show you a little more of September soon. We're building a front of house espresso bar for customers to come here in Ottawa or those who are visiting to come stop by, say hi, taste our coffees on a few different grinders. And we're excited to just open up to the community and hopefully meet many of you in person very soon. In the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy something incredibly tasty and we'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.